This is a presentation of SBE 15 New York City. Good evening, everybody. My name is Chris Crump. I'm the Senior Director of Sales and Marketing for Commerce Corporation. I'd like to thank you for joining us at this webinar this evening where we can talk about some of the new products that Comrex will be introducing uh, this year and, uh, and later on. Obviously, with no trade shows to uh, be able to do this at, uh, being a part of the Next Best Thing Tour, along with uh, uh, Broadcast General Store and Second Opinion Communications, has really been a blessing for us to be able to bring equipment and uh, the things that we make for broadcast up to you. So hopefully we'll be able to uh, come to a city near you in the future. Uh, and if not, we'll do more of these if you think they're useful. Um, but in the meantime, I'd like to get started to talk about some of the things that Comrex is going to be coming out with in the next two future. What I'd like to start out with is kind of a little concept car thing that we have going on over here. Uh, those of you who are familiar with our access multi-rack, and I'm actually going to zoom in a little bit so we can take a look at the rack. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Okay. So um, with this device, you can actually access all five multi-rack within this panel. All of the audio is AES67 based. There are two ethernet ports in the back of the unit and a complete touch screen interface for it. Uh, this product is not available yet, but we're really interested to find out if you find this an interesting product that you might be interested in the future. Please let us know. You can send me an email at chris at comrex.com. Be really curious to find out your feedback. Again, this is the Access Multi-Rack Panel Mount and all touchscreen, completely AES67, so it's gonna be compatible with uh, Axia Livewire, uh, Wheatnet, um, Wheatnet IP, um, Dante, and Ravenna AES67. So it covers all the AES67 family of stuff. Uh, right now I'd like to introduce uh, Tom Hartnett, uh, Comrex, Comrex Technical Director, who's gonna introduce another new exciting concept uh, for you. Tom, take it away. Thanks, Chris. Hey, everybody out there. It's kind of blustery here in Long Island today, but I'm really excited to be here because we're going to be talking about something that is new in terms of generational change and how uh, remote broadcasts are done. Um, you know, I've been the, uh, with Comrex for 33 years. I've seen the frequency extenders. I've seen the ISDN codecs. I've seen the POTS codecs and uh, all the way into IP codecs, which have been going well for about 15 years. But now, um, particularly triggered by the pandemic, we all are getting much more used to using computers and smartphones in terms of, of, of connecting back to studios. So I, I know that a bunch of you out there are already using Zoom and things like that. Um, what we've come up with is a way to uh, enhance that kind of audio quality. So uh, it's a new service that we're introducing. So I see this as the next thing after IP Codex. I think this is something that we're going to um, we're going to be all using and talking about for the next 15 years. Our particular product is called Gaggle. That's G-A-G-L, for the, uh, and effectively, it's a server that we maintain and you subscribe to. The really cool thing about it is that it allows you to connect to your Comrex codec, your existing codec. Now, we have tens of thousands of codecs out there. Gaggle has a, uh, is, is a way for you to leverage that hardware you've already bought, but enhance the capability of it. Because by subscribing to our service, you can have five people simultaneously on your codec conferencing together, all in low delay, high quality audio. Um, this is an example of the landing page that you will get when you log into the Gaggle service. Um, and you'll see a list of contributors here. Everybody gets a little audio meter. There's a moderator that allows you to, um, to control who's on when. And I mean, we're all very much familiar these days with conferencing apps. Uh, this is like that. However, it's got an advantage. First of all, it connects to your codec, so you get that nice pro-grade, high-quality audio feed in and out. 
It also uses all of the things that we've developed for the codec over the years in terms of stability. So the link between our gaggle server and your codec is much, uh, much more stable and much more high quality than you normally expect on a typical conferencing service. Um, you're able to do five people at a time on this system. The moderator has complete control over it. It has a lot of uh, very good functions for the radio broadcaster. For example, the mute functions have been enhanced so that you have moderator control mute and guest control mute. And each of those uh, people have different levels of, of power over that mute function. Um, as I said, it's, it's just designed to be rock solid. It uses the, um, the WebRTC standard built into your web browser. So it's using the high quality Opus codec at a bit rate that is designed for pro-grade broadcast quality audio. Um, it does not move video. And, and that in itself is a very big enhancement to the systems that you might know. So Tom, yeah. let me ask you, how yeah. is this better than Zoom? <laughs> That's what I just mentioned. Oh, okay. Pro-grade audio in and out, connect to your existing codec, you don't have to have a computer online, and the stability factor of the codec sitting there using the brick um, management function, it's, it's auto, it's auto uh, adjusting the delays and keeping everything nice and stable. So this is Gaggle. It will be available this year. More announcements are coming in terms of exact dates and prices and so forth. But I really do think that this is the next generation of audio, uh, remote audio broadcast. So thanks for your time. I'm going to hand it back over to Chris. Cool. Thanks, Tom. I'm excited too. I think it's going to be a really cool product because we've had a lot of customers asking for something just like this. And it answers a lot of questions for a lot of broadcasters uh, even today. So we have the new access rack mount panel mount. Uh, we've got Gaggle, which is going to be available as a subscription service later on this year. More details to come. Uh, and of course, what's that? 5G. Oh, 5G. What about 5G? Well, come up here and tell us about 5G. Okay, I forgot to mention this. Um, we've had a lot of inquiries about whether we're going to be supporting 5G on our codex. And um, the, the obviously, you've seen a lot of marketing on TV. 5G is an next big thing. You can't live without it. In reality, it can offer a small upgrade in its current form to the, uh, the existing 4G services. But it's really not night and day, particularly if you're talking about upload speeds. Um, it does have one significant advantage, which is that it's available in some sports venues on a band that's uh, very, very high. So it's got very limited um, penetration, wall penetration or uh, coverage, but it can actually enhance that application for sports broadcasting. So um, one of the other things that we've managed to do is to integrate, so rather than building a 5G modem, which is a little bit challenging these days, particularly in the electronics industry we have now, what we've done is we've um, added support for the 5G hotspots that are available from the major cellular carriers. Um, there's two of them I have on display here. This is the Verizon version. It's made by Insego. Um, it is battery powered. However, this uh, hotspot, as well as the one that's available for AT&T here, um, can connect to our codex via a single USB cable. And that USB cable will transfer the data back and forth, as well as uh, power the unit. So you don't have to worry about the battery inside of, of, of this guy. Um, it works on all of the available 4G bands and whatever 5G bands you have available. Again, you know, it's it's a maturing industry, so the uh, the the carriers will get better. Um, but right now, in highly congested, uh, dense urban environments, it can give you an edge. So this is the Insego. We also have here. This is the Netgear version, and they're all described in an application note on our website. Just search for the word 5G, and it'll pop right up. This one is actually unlocked. It'll work on worldwide networks, which is pretty cool. Um, and you just put your SIM in it. Your, uh, your control is completely on the front panel display. It pops up on the codec as just a new network access port. So it works very well. And um, if you're interested in being future-proof for your modems, they're available. So check out the tech note.
Cool. I appreciate that, Tom. Man, see all the stuff we're missing by not having NAB, except we're not missing it because we've got webinars. How fun. Now, I know most of you know that if it's not important to Comrex, it's not important to me, but that's not necessarily true. We love being part of the Next Best Thing Tour. I love my fellow vendors. All right, so Jeff Williams from Yellow Tech, uh, my sure. fellow vendor, a good friend, he's going to talk to you about some stuff that's coming from Yellow Tech. So we have some great announcements this year. Um, one that the American market hasn't seen too much of because it was announced in, uh, at IBC in uh, 2019. And of course we didn't have a uh, NAB 2020 is we came out with camera mounts finally to work with our poles and our uh, microphone arm systems. So if you're looking to get that video friendly studio and mount cameras around on your uh, yellow tech products, we now have that. It's available both in black and silver. The other announcement that we have that uh, I will be presenting to all my dealers, they will have part numbers and prices real soon is uh, we came out with a pop filter for that'll work with many, many different brands of microphones. Uh, again, matching the Yellow Tech brand of uh, microphone arms. So that's what's going on in Yellow Tech land. A lot of great products have been uh, purchased and, and I'm always here to help out all our customers. So thank you, Chris, for bringing me on. Just out of curiosity, can anybody hear these sirens? I mean, because they're really, really loud. Can you hear that? Well, I got to check with my parole officer. I'll be right back. Okay, got it. Okay, so Jeff, thank you very much. Um, and uh, we're in Lynbrook, New York on the Next Best Thing Tour. Uh, this is our webinar to talk about new products. So I don't wanna leave out our good friends at Enco now that Gilbert's back. He needed to put on mittens because it's a little bit chilly here. So Gilbert, um, I hear you have some new exciting stuff at Enco, is that true? That is so true. Sorry guys, I'm from Arizona, so this is a little bit chilly for me. <laughs> Um, well, uh, you know, Enco has been around for for a while, um, and uh, our biggest product uh, today is our Encaption product, which um, is pretty much, um, you know, speech to text uh, in real time. So what we're talking about is uh, live captioning, taking an audio feed, uh, converting that audio feed using ASR, automated speech recognition, and um, creating captions. We, uh, we have an on-premise machine. We also have cloud solution. Uh, the on-premise machine uh, is nothing more than a, uh, a workstations where we can take the SDI input coming in, processing that audio in real time with a delay somewhere of two to four seconds, um, sending that text downstream to a, um, a you know, a closed captioning and encoder, and then that encoder is going to embed the captions uh, into your video signal in real time. Um, and our, our accuracy out of the box is somewhere between 92 to 95%. Uh, we also have the ability of uh, adding text. Um, never gonna be 100% correct, and neither is a live captioner, right? Uh, but we do have the ability of learning local terminology, proper names, city names, county names, uh, and improving that accuracy. Uh, the accuracy could get a lot better uh, by use of, you know, the ability of, through MOS interface, also to uh, import scripts from newsroom systems, such as ENPS, iNews, that is also going to improve the accuracy. Um, all of this is done, uh, you know, within two to four seconds delay. We also have the ability of, um, you know, identifying a speaker change by use of sensitivity filters. So let's say we are captioning a, you know, uh, a news broadcast where there is two talent uh, on the, you know, speaking at the same time or um, on the show, we're able to detect um, a speaker change based on tone of voice. So um, once we hear a tone of voice, we add the little chevrons followed by the captions of the new speaker. Um, very state of the art technology. Um, we also have, um, you know, the within the, the speaker detection, the important thing to understand is that we're not adding any extra delay at all by activating the speaker detection. The delay is still going to be within two to four seconds. And then we also have the ability of what we call 
um, you know, adding sentence structure and punctuation. That's something that we've been working really hard because just spitting out text sometimes is doesn't work too well, right? Unless you're going to add the punctuation and uh, create sentence structure. Um, that is um, pretty much it, Chris. I mean, I really would love you guys to come out. If you have a chance, come out and check out our encaption. We have a demo unit here. Um, we're playing back a live video. And uh, we also have the opportunity, you know, we can do um, virtual demos if anybody wants to see them. You know, I'm here uh, through this week and then always available. Thanks, guys. And Gilbert, I think they put the heat on in the car for you so you can jump back in there and get warmed up. Arizona, here I come. There you go. Here's your mask, by the way. Oh, Thank you, sir. Can't forget that. Thank you very much. Okay, so um, this has been a really good tour for us. This Next Best Thing tour is sponsored by uh, Second Opinion Communications and our good friends at Broadcasters General Store. Dave Kirsten says that he wants to say some words to you um, because that's what Dave does. He says words. Dave? Thank you, Chris. I think I'd just like to thank all the vendors that have participated and all the broadcasters that have come out to support us. Uh, being here today in the parking lot, David Antoine showed up. It's probably been five years. We just got a chance to get a hug, a handshake, and just chat, catch up on family and friends. Those things are really important. So I just want to thank everybody for that. On my front, as far as selling for BGS, uh, TELUS has come out with the sixth generation of audio consoles called the Quasar. We now have the XR and the SR version. And just want to keep you guys coming out and attending. Before I hand off to Chris, I'd like to introduce somebody else who works with Sprite Media. Also happens to be a brother-in-law, so I'm trying to Hi keep everyone. it in the family. Oh, no. This is Keith Paglia. Hi, everyone out there. It's, it's a pleasure to be here at the Next Best Thing Audio Tour. We really appreciate everyone that comes out. Like the guys out here have just worked. It's now turned into years and honing this and getting you the best products out there that is taking the place of, as we all know, the NAB show and things that we can't be at. and uh, that we hope are coming back. But again, just briefly, I'm from Sprite Media. We make a, a very unique product. It's a digital uh, signage product that you can take control of your screen and make, make the television actually any one that you own, the most valuable thing in your, in your uh, uh, piece of equipment in your office. We do stretch clocks, reception areas, menu boards. If you can imagine it, we can design it and the the beauty of it all is you can change this product from any device, your computer, your tablet, your phone, at will. Change the fonts, the colors, the information. I welcome you to come out and see it on the tour or go to our website at Sprite Media. And uh, hopefully we'll see you out here. It's, it's really been terrific. And we thank uh, New York for a turnout here and coming out to see it's been cold. And uh, again, come out and see the tour. The guys have worked hard here. Keith, thank you very much. So we're going to be in uh, Washington, D.C. tomorrow. On Wednesday, we're going to be in Richmond, Virginia. On Thursday, we're going to be in Raleigh, North Carolina, followed by Charlotte on Friday. So if we're going to be around one of those cities, we hope that you can come out and join us, uh, visit with the vendors, have some FaceTime. It's nice to be able to see people for a change and have real conversations in person and not over a Zoom, even though it does have its purpose like we're doing right now. So I'd like to thank you all for attending our webinar today. Um, if you find this interesting, um, let uh, Conrad with the SBE 15 know or, or Jeff Schick. Uh, I'd like to thank Conrad Troutman for making this platform available for us uh, and also Jeff Schick for his assistance as well. Um, thank you very much. Remember, Comrex has some great new stuff as does Enco and Yellow Tech and Sprite Media. Uh, make sure to come out and check us out on the next best thing tour. Thanks for attending. If you have any questions, uh, Jeff is standing by and he can uh, field them for us if you have any questions. So far, no questions. Wow, that was easy. Okay, I just wanna recap because I'm selfish like that. So we've got uh, the access multi-rack panel mount concept. Shoot me an email if you think it's interesting. And also gaggle which is the new service that will allow you to uh, have up to five people connected into the web interface using um, basically a um, high quality headset, USB headset on a computer or even a smartphone. And it will connect into an access rack mount or a bricklink. Um, pretty 
revolutionary technology that we think is going to make a big difference for a lot of broadcasters. If there are no other questions, I'd just like to thank you all again, and we'll sign off for tonight. Thanks for joining us on this product launch webinar. Thanks for joining us. Please remember to subscribe to SBE 15 New York City.